Hi there, I'm Tom Jones and welcome to another free art lesson. I got an exciting little art lesson for you this time. I've got a nice little one where I'm going to do some smoke coming out of a chimney of a house and I'm going to show you how an easy way to create the smoke. Stick with me, this is going to be a lot of fun. I've got a little cabin area here that I'm going to paint and then I'm going to paint a little bit of a background with a mountain or a, some tree areas and then we'll have the smoke coming out of the mountain. Let me do this, let me grab a little color. We'll do a little color on this particular uh, cabin here. Nothing fancy, just a little bit of color, and I'll show you how to create an interesting little painting, very simply. Let me go ahead and take at this time a little area of the chimney. We'll paint the chimney in. Just grab my round brush, put a little bit of a shadow maybe on the roof, like so, and then I'll dry this. I'll dry this and then we'll come back and we'll add a little background to it and then we'll have a nice interesting area where we'll have some smoke coming out of the chimney. Now see how easy that was, we just put a little color on there, we dried it, now I'm going to come back in, we'll put a little detail in the windows for you. I'll pick up a little bit of my quinacridone rose, a little bit of my ultramarine blue deep and we'll create the look of some shadow underneath the eaves here just to identify this building a little bit more we'll make it interesting, we'll soften a couple edges with just water on my brush now, just water do the same thing on the front side here, a little bit of shadow under the eaves soften some of that edge as well A little more color up here, just for a little fun on the front side. We'll put a couple of doors and windows in it. So we'll take and mix up some more color, get a nice rich color, come in and put in a couple of windows. I'll put two here and then one over here. And let it go at that. Over here we'll put a little doorway in, just a simple doorway, just a suggestion that there's a doorway there. That easy. Pick up a little color here, a little color there. Got the shape of the building. Let's take and dry this real quick. I'll put a little darker side to this side of the building and then we'll put the background in. All right, we have the front side that's fairly light and then the, this side over here we want to have a little bit darker. So what's what I'm going to do? I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint this side of the building with a darker value than this so that you can in fact see that this particular side it stands out now from this side over here. This side is darker, that side's lighter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, pick up some of my uh, blues and greens, and we're going to do a little background here, maybe with some trees. So we'll see what happens here, or a mountain area back here. We'll figure it out. But we'll just add some color. I'm going to come in with a nice sharp edge to the edge of this, to the edge of this building here, just like so, to create the edge of the roof. Mix up some more color, again that blues and greens work nicely here for the foliage area behind, behind the building. I'll come up alongside the chimney, carefully paint that area, come across the top. Now this is not a brick chimney or anything like that, more of a stove pipe coming up than anything else. See that? And we'll take and carry this color away like so. Bring this color down a little bit. That's all we need there. Come back around to the top of the roof. Create a nice interesting sharp edge to the top of the roof. Now you see how this building is starting to show up. How the edge of the roof is showing up. Come over and grab some more color. Do this side of the roof. This is such an easy painting for you to do. A little exercise, not really a painting, but an exercise. Pull some of the color away. Now I'm going to need some more color up here. Let's say I want to put a mountain in. We'll grab some more color. Come up here. I'll put some more color in. We'll have a nice little interesting mountain here.
bring this color out because I want to have my I want to have my uh, smoke coming out of this chimney <clears throat> and in order for me to to do that I've got to have a darker background so we'll use this as a an idea for maybe a mountain in the distance back here we'll keep it that simple we'll drag some of this color down to create a little rough area back there like so that's all I need to do now let me dry this and we'll come back and we'll put we'll put a little smoke coming out of this chimney for you Now, this is not a lesson plan on how to paint a cabin, but you also got a little lesson in that. But let me take this product right here. It's called Aqua Cover. It's uh, designed to, to allow you to paint white. In other words, if I wanted birds in here, or I want smoke, or whatever I want, I can use this particular product. It's made up of the fibers of the paper, and it has a certain glue that holds it all together. It's relatively thick. Here's what I like about it. Several things. One is that I can use it either in a very transparent mode or I can use it in a very opaque, as very opaque, or I can um, come in and if I don't like it, I can take it back out. It's water soluble, it's friendly to your paper, and it's friendly to your brushes, so it has a lot of flexibility. Let me go ahead and show you how to, I use it. I'm going to dip it in the, in the product and I'm going to come up here and I can start creating the area with smoke. As it gets further away, it spreads out. Watch that. See how it just spreads out? Add a little water to it if you want to dilute it just a little bit. All of a sudden you got a very interesting area with smoke coming out of the roof. How's that? Let me do one other thing for you. I'll clean out the brush. I'll put this away. We'll put a little bit of a uh, a foreground in this painting just to anchor everything. And then you'll have a nice little example of how to create smoke coming out of a chimney. It's that easy. A little bit of a spray bottle for a little texture. Some dots. Just that easy. And there you've got a very simple approach to doing a simple painting showing smoke coming out of the chimney. Let me just do a couple little details to the roof here. And you've got it. That's how simple it is. I'm glad you joined me. Thank you very much. I'm Tom Jones. Goodbye for now.